Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. So now we are going to see a share flow for an open section. So in the open section, we are going to see for a symmetric section. Now first we'll consider a cantilever beam. So before proceeding for the shear flow for an open section, first let's discuss what is meant by shear flow. Shear flow is generated by the letter Q, which is mostly used to find for designing purposes. The word flow means that means something in motion and shear. Now when the load is applied on this beam, so how the intermolecular parts or intermolecules how it is moving from one point to another point that is our main understanding or this is mostly used for designing purposes of any structure so when a structure is designed when the load is applied how the shear is flowing across the section across the cross section of the particular beam that is our main concern so here mostly we will deal with the cross-sectional areas so here the fundamental formula of finding the shear flow is denoted by the letter Q and can be described by the product of tau into T what is tau tau is the shear stress and T is the thickness or it is also defined or measured by means of shear force per unit length which is nothing but the unit is Newton pro meter so as I said we are going to find a shear flow for design purposes so how we are going to flow how we are going to find when a load is applied on any material so from that how the each molecules are transforming a shear movement from one point to another and remember this shear flow it will be always constant and continuous across the section now first here we are going to find how the shear flow occurs and what is the formula so first that for this is a cantilever beam consider a cantilever beam so from that point we will take a small elemental areas of that cantilever beam let's consider this now let's enlarge this diagram and draw it Now, when the load applies on this particular section, so what happens when the load applied vertically? It may be a point load, it can be a UDL load or variable load. So what happens? It causes two kind of stresses, two types. Two stresses occurs. The first one is a direct stress and the second one is the shear stress now here when the load occurs vertically upward from this direction so what will happen a shear will stress a direct stress will occur and where the shear will occur shear will occur across the surface or along the surface on other sides so our main concern to find how the shear is flowing across the entire section so here mostly we'll deal with the cross-sectional area let's assume when the load is applied on this particular section here some amount of shear stress occur and here some change in stress with respect to the surface and here the tau now what is s 
we are assuming the small elemental distance as ds and the total element as s that is a distance from here to this point is s and we are taking a small element part that is ds now and the thickness of this element is t so we can find the cross sectional area then what is the cross sectional area cross sectional area is t into ds that is da fine now we know that we are creating this tau and sigma so as per the static equilibrium equation we know that summation of forces will be zero so if we create a force on this two point so what we'll get we are going to convert this stresses into force so how we can convert the stresses into force here we know that the this side is negative and this side is positive upward positive and downwards negative so we have the direction on this side so we will take as minus sigma and we are going to convert this into area so with respect to what is the surface area is da now this part is on the towards the right hand side the right hand side is in the direction of positive so we'll write as positive sigma plus dou sigma by dou s into ds into da this is also the right so tau into da equate to zero now let's simplify this equation Now, from here, these are the plus and minus, plus and minus. So, we can cancel off these terms and we can simplify it as now here. After we attaining this equation, we can integrate this equation. We are going to integrate the sigma value, but we won't integrate this. Why? Because this this is our bending stress. So as we change the when the loading take place, each layer the bending will be varying, but the always the shear will remain constant across the cross section. So here we will integrate dou sigma by dou s into ds integral da 0 to a that means we can write da here like this and we will integrate this minus as it is we can't cancel off this term because first we are varying with the da so we cannot cancel off the da and da here now after this this is our general equation we can name the equation as equation 1 after that we get equation 1 what is our next step recalling recalling bending equation bending moment equation what is our bending moment equation m by i equals to sigma by y equals to e by r now here we will only consider this so after considering this we can rewrite this equation as m y by i now this value we are going to substitute in equation 1 so what is our equation 1 do m y by i by d s into d s d a integral d a equals to minus 
tau de now here what is the y y is a point a displacement from the centroid and i i is a moment of inertia and which is constant across the cross section so what is a variable m is the variable so we can keep the other term outside and we integrate do m by do s into ds to da now can i split this term the da the da equals to t into ds so we can write t into ds now can i cancel off this ds and this ds right because this is also constant now as per the definition as per the definition what we know q equals to tau into t now can i get here in place of t tau into t can i write q there directly so q minus y by i integral da do m by do s into da clear now again recalling what is do m is nothing but the shear force into perpendicular distance that is ds so from here we can write that do m by do s is nothing but the v so we are going to substitute this value here that we are going to substitute this value over here so we get as q equals to minus y by i integral v into d and what is v where v equals means a shear force v means shear force now shear force of a given system or a given problem it will be constant so we can take the v outside So now again, here we can write the limits as Vy by I. Here, what we'll do when we want to change the limit 0 to dA. And here, now we are going to split these terms. So what we go do is i 0 to s t ds it is q equals to it is q equals to vy by i integral 0 to s t ds or if if the y is varying so we can write this q equals to v by i integral y t ds this is a general equation of a shear flow for an symmetrical open section thank you for watching this video if you have further inquiry or requested video drop down to our mail wings of arrow at the rate gmail.com don't forget to subscribe for more updates for the time being take care stay blessed inspired and fly high